Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Center. I hope everyone is well. Sorry I missed the work week top and bottom on Monday and Tuesday. I was very, very tired and very, very drained and very, very busy. So you're going to get a midweek special. So, just quick, short, sweet, to the point. For those of you who are new here and don't know how we do this, I go by the elements. It's Scorpio season. Scorpio is a water element, so I'll start off with the water signs, go around the wheel accordingly. If it resonates with your sun sign, okay, cool. It's your free will, do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. If it doesn't resonate with your sun sign, that's okay, too. Check your moon rising and Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little better. But a few things to keep in mind. If it's not resonating, it may not be your story. Feel free to leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's no skin off my nose if it's no skin off yours. Time and energy are both fluid, so some of the events discussed in the cards could have already played out earlier this week. I'm doing it for the whole Monday through Friday, so um, it may have played out a bit ago. It might not play out for a while, so I don't know. Tarot's funny that way. All things can be baby verse versa might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher and our dear friends the cross watchers are always welcome here at the fire sign tarot table and yet again the same friendly reminder this channel is geared toward 18 and older only I am not afraid to go in and age restrict every single one of my videos but I'd really not, rather not go through the hassle but I don't want to get hate mail from somebody's parents again either so if you're under the age of 18 I ask that you respectfully click off because there's certain topics of discussion that are not for young ears, and there's certain words that fly out of my mouth that definitely are not for young ears. So, come and see me on your 18th birthday. We'll throw down some cards and have a good time, okay? Oh. <sighs> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's going on? The devil in the reverse, the two of pentacles in the reverse. You're disconnecting from a powerful connection, it looks like. Could have been with a Capricorn or another Earth sign. Could have been toxic. Could have been a little bit of obsessive. Could have been some certain things of a certain nature going on that we won't discuss. You know what I'm talking about if you know what I'm talking about. Know what I'm saying? I don't think I need to beat that horse to death at all. All right. What happened in the past? Hmm. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Nine of Cups in the reverse, so the see it just didn't take off. Just didn't grow. Possibly someone could have been filling their nine cups with some inappropriate things. That's where the toxicity can come in. Addiction issues possibly, or someone just wasn't happy. Okay. A little bit closer to the here and now. Queen of Wands in the reverse and the Magician. So, things not taking off, things not moving forward, you're going forth, you're manifesting new things, you're trying to. Could be an Aries or another fire sign involved. There's water and earth up here on the table. If it's setting off an alarm, cool. If it's not, leave it alone. All right, what's happening this week? Mmm, well. Looks like the foundations of abundance being laid out and someone coming in from the cold. That looks intriguing, huh? Hmm. Let's visit that real quick. Not gonna take too long. Just short and sweet and to the point. But I'm just curious. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for my water sign, friends, please? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. A little bit more earth energy too. Got a three and a five of pentacles. Huh. What's this three of pentacles about? Let's 
Seven of Cups in the reverse. So the foundation's being laid, but there's confusion. Why? Oh, okay. Let's. The Fool. Mm. There's confusion because you're ready to go off new things, new people, new prospects. Okay. So why not? Eight of Swords reversed, you've come out of your head about it. Okay. That's a why. Can I get a why not? You haven't healed. Star reversed. So you're laying down the foundations, but there's confusion. There is some emotional juggling going on, so that does make sense. There's emotional juggling because you, you haven't healed. You're ready to go off and do new things with new people, new places, new ideas, new ventures on a new path. You're trying to come out of your head, but there's confusion and emotional juggling in this laying of the new foundations. Why the Five of Pentacles? Why is the Five of Pentacles reversed here for my water sign friends? Okay, hit the floor. See if I care. There's two. Lovers reversed, Ace of Cups reversed, there may be someone trying to come in out of the cold, but the feeling's no longer mutual. The cup is no longer full. You're not interested in that cup anymore, you're disconnecting from it. It was toxic. May have been a little bit obsessive. Can I get one more on that? High Priestess, you acknowledge the connection, but you're using your intuition for the better. I don't think it matters how hard they pound down that door. You're not letting them in. You're not interested. Yes, the connection's there, but no, you don't feel it. <laughs> okay, so I don't see you doing much with that. Let's give some advice. Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the Queen of Swords in the upright. Be honest. If you're approached about this and you feel that things just weren't equal or it was just too much, you're not feeling it, have the decency to be honest. I mean, communicate, communicate your feelings. Communicate how you feel. You don't have to be cold and icy about it. You don't even have to be mean about it. But you should be honest. Don't blow smoke up anybody's butt, because that's not fair to anybody. Would you want somebody to do that to you? No, I didn't think so. The chariot and the four of pentacles is the other part of your advice for this. Pack a chariot and move on. Try to distance yourself from it and just release it out. If It'll come back if it's supposed to. But release it, let it go, go forth on your path, move on. I think that's sound advice. I'm not even going to pull advice out of the other deck because we're not going to be a dead horse today. Mm. All right, water sign friends. Let me know what's going on with that. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's going on with you guys this week? 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Second through the sixth of November. What's going on? I know it's the fourth. I get it. You didn't have the second and third. I did. I am sure you didn't. By the time I got home Monday night, I was so bleh from having my schedule all messed up for the weekend. And then I had to go to my grief counseling because I'm still struggling with my own personal issues. Try shuffling that again. And yesterday, it was election day. My son didn't have school, so he's home all day. He had a dentist appointment. We had to go shopping. And then he had his grief counseling for the issues that he's still struggling with. That's a whole other ball of wax. I'm just rambling while I shuffle cards. Okay. So finally, you know, I finally get time to do it, even if it's just a little bit. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 2nd through the 6th. So one last shuffle and a cut. We're going to see what's going on with you guys. <sighs> Nine of swords in the upright. Nine of cups in the reverse. So what are we all about? What's keeping us up at night? What are we drowning our pain in? This is screaming to me that someone is drowning in pain about something. That is anguish. All right, what happened? Two of Pentacles in the reverse, three of Pentacles in the upright. Somebody had a decision to make. Somebody was juggling, probably juggling way too much, just trying to lay down foundations for prosperity in their life. But there was juggling. Okay. What happened after that? Seven of Cups in the reverse, the Fool in the reverse, um, possibly some confusion in the connection maybe. Could have been a lack of trust, could have been just someone not willing to jump. Not willing to take that leap. Okay. Someone could be questioning the path that they took, questioning their own judgment, possibly kicking themselves in the butt for not taking the leap. But I can see it. I mean, if you're juggling, you got a lot going on, and you're trying to lay the foundations for abundance. Okay, so what's happening this week? Two of Swords upright, Queen of Wands. Blindfolds coming off, difficult decisions being made. Not an impossible decision, but a difficult one. Moving forward on the path, trusting your intuition, acknowledging yourself for what you are, accepting nothing less but what you're worth. Hey, that's amazing. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for my fire sign, friends, please? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 2nd through the 6th. Yeah, I know it's November 4th. Don't remind me. Don't remind me. You know what? Time's fluid. And if you ask our buddy Neon, who we have not seen in a while, by the way. I need to get her in here. I hate doing lives, but we have so much fun when we do them. I need to get her in here for a couple of readings. I do. We miss her. We love her. We just love her to pieces. Time is a man-made construct and only exists here on Earth. That's what she says all the time. It's a man-made construct. She's funny. I love her to death. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. A little clarity. Why is the two of swords here? What's this difficult decision that's being made with the blindfold off? The moon. That's odd. Odd card to come up. Let's look at the signs we got on the board. Aries is on the board with the full card. Pisces is on the board. We got some air, we got some water, we got some earth. We got a little fire. 
All right, so could have something to do with things still being unknown or in the shadows and the dark. All right, you want to talk. Let's let you talk. Queen of Swords, someone could still have a bad attitude about what happened. Okay. Some of you could just soon leave it alone because you can't, don't want to, you know, you don't want the truth. Some of you. You just soon leave it alone. Might pour salt in a wound for some of you, but at the same time, you're numbing your pain. Can I go one more on this two of swords, please? King of Pentacles. Ooh. Hmm. Why'd the King of Pentacles show up? For some of you, you could be acknowledging your own worth or acknowledging the worth of the other person. Nine of Pentacles, you're acknowledging your own. You want them to acknowledge your worth. Hmm. Okay. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Making a difficult decision, trusting your intuition, forward movement, acknowledging your own worth, expecting nothing less, accepting nothing less. Four of Wands, the connection card, the 1111, it's the celebration card, it's the doors opening card. Four of Pentacles, but you can't let go. It still keeps you up at night. You still numb your pain. Hmm. Why is the Four of Wands here? Why the Four of Wands? Ace of Wands. The new start. You feel the connection with this person. You'd like to start over. But there's so much you can't let go of. Why is Four of Pentacles here? Oh, hi. Two of Swords. No matter what decision you make, the potential is there to get hurt. Some of you may be struggling because you're afraid to get hurt again, or you're afraid to hurt them again. Wow, fire signs. Let's get some advice. 
Six of Wands, King of Wands. Gosh, that king is angry. He's not even sitting down. It's like he's using his uh, leather throne there as a shield. What's up with that? I don't know about that. What else is behind the throne? Two of Cups reversed in the Knight of Wands. Fire signs, this is up to you. But understand, if, if you try to return to this and your return is welcome, why bother if you're going to have that protection shield in front of you? You need to understand that some connections are just that. They're connections and they're not meant to stay long. So if you want to have a Knight of Wands style relationship with somebody that has obviously kept you up at night, I mean, by all means, go for it. But if you have to be in that protection mode, if there is a level of trust, lack of trust large enough to where you have to be in protection mode 24-7, I mean, it's up to you what you do with it. Personally, I, I wouldn't. I know you want to, and it's a difficult decision. At the same time, don't live your life in fear. It's not what we do. It's not what fire signs do. That's not living. That's not enjoying the journey. Nine of swords reversed, six of swords upright. You might be suited better if you just released it and let it go and moved on. But, again, it's your journey, fire signs. It's not mine. I just read cards. The longer you lull on the what was, the slower the journey to the what could be. Just saying. Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some messages for my Earth sign friends? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 2nd through the 6th. Get these beat up old cards out again. Two of Cups upright, two of Wands in the reverse. A connection you can't let go of. Or a connection you can't move toward because you're still hanging on to the past. Ten of swords in the reverse, strength in the reverse. Oh, that had to hurt. It drained you. And because you're still hanging on to it, it never ended. Okay. Could have been a connection from when you were younger. Moving forward, King of Pentacles, King of Swords. 
we grow, we evolve. That's an interesting state to be in. Oh wow, that's two kings. I threw a clarifier on that. The king of abundance and the king of logic. The one that's going to give you the world and the one that's always going to tell you the truth. Oh, wow. There's no clarifier on that before I speak anymore. What's happening this week? Chariot reversed, queen of wands reversed, closing of a gap, a possible return, could be, could be. One that's going to possibly leave you questioning your worth or stop you dead in your tracks. But you're already standing at the crossroads not knowing where to go, so... Earth signs, why you gotta be so complicated? Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for my earth sign friends, please? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 2nd through the 6th. Let's see if I can get three more shuffles out of it. It's one. These cards do not want to shuffle for beans. That's King of Pentacles here. Six Wands. That's King of Swords here. Queen is Queen of Cups reversed. Oh, that's what happened. Some of y'all may have had somebody come back wanting your pentacle and you had to use your sword to cut them out because, uh, you don't want your cup dumped again, so you wanted to dump theirs first. That's just what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. Six of Wands signifies a return. You and your abundance is what you'd be returning for. Or they'd be returning for. Logical, non-emotional decisions. Obviously, the Queen of Cups is reversed. Somebody's cup got dumped. Self-protection. Okay. Why's the chariot here? Why's the chariot reversed here? Nine of Cups reversed. Eight of Wands upright. Yeah, not so thrilled about this return. Not so thrilled about that distance gap being closed. Kind of came out of nowhere. One more. Four of Wands, really.
I don't know why the Jackson 5 is playing in my head right now. Huh. Somebody left the door open. Could have been you, could have been them. Or someone is going to attempt to walk through an open door this week. Hmm. Trying to rebuild. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed here? Three of Pentacles reverse Ten of Wands. Oh, you ain't having none of that. There will be no foundations built here. I released you long ago. That's what I'm hearing. I, I laid this big bundle of sticks. At the feet of that tower and I watched it fall. And I think it took a long time for that pain to end. Or you're finally releasing it this week, one of the two. This week you could finally make the decision to no longer stand at the crossroads and to release it and move on. And stop them dead in their tracks. Two more fell. Hanged men in the reverse justice in the upright. Hmm. Somebody may have a hard time accepting it, but fair is fair. Justice is justice. Oh, wow. There's that sword again. Sticks and swords. All right, let's get some advice. Queen of swords reversed. Three of cups reversed. Well, if there's still sour grapes and bad attitudes, it's probably best that you not try to be friends. Just, yeah, that's sound advice for sure. Ace of Swords upright, devil in the reverse. It, it might be time to take that sword and that sword and that sword and just finally disconnect from this. And cut it loose for good. Yeah, it's, it's a connection. It could be a powerful one. But it was painful and it hurt. And it was potentially toxic. It, it drained you. And it took a long time for this to end. That's what I'm sensing. You have to maintain your strength and be strong enough. You have to regain your strength. The strength that was taken from you. You have to let this go. And that's what the cards are telling me anyway. I mean, do whatever you want. It's not my journey. I'm just reading cards. All right. Air signs. As soon as I sort my stack out here. Air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 2nd through the 6th. I know it's November 4th. Don't remind me. Some of these messages for some of you could have played out over the last couple of days. I'm sensing a lot of residuals. My head is like right here. Right here is like boom, boom, boom. 
throbbing. Throbbing. Who is blowing up my phone right now, for real? Oh, never mind. Gemini Libra Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Two of Wands in the Editors. Why does Two of Wands keep popping up? Well, at least this one's in the upright. You're ready to take the world in your hands and let go of the past, move forward to the future. You're ready to choose a path, but at the same time, you're wrapped up in something. Something has a hold of your thoughts. You could get up off the ground and walk out of that anytime you want, but you can't see. You can't see the way out. Hands are bound, you can't feel your way out. Can't get up off the ground. Can't see. Happened. Hmm. At some point, didn't allow yourself to heal. You just kind of got back up and got back up and swung. Sometimes it's like that. You just get back up. Okay. What happened then? We have a fortune reversed, five of swords. I'm going to clarify the five of swords. It could be things happening in the shadows. It could be picking up the pieces. Return. Maybe that's what you're all in your thoughts about. You're ready to move forward and let go. Something you didn't heal from, you just got back up. I know what's happening this week. Page of Wands, Four of Swords, I like it. Ah, I see what's going on. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for my air sign friends, please? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 2nd through the 6th. Three of Cups flipped out in the shuffle. Mmm, that makes sense. For some of you, it could have been a reunion that's got you all jacked up. There might now be three people involved, and that's what you got you all jacked up.
All right. Just got back up. Didn't let yourself heal. I'm leaving that alone. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Five of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands. Someone came back. Someone may have come back very, very quickly. Communicated out of the blue. Thinking they left pieces all over the place. When they got there, the pieces had already been picked up. Can I get one off this Five of Swords, please? The tower. Hmm. Somebody come back to kick over your Legos? Maybe. Queen of Swords reversed, Queen of Wands reversed, and the Empress. Bad attitudes, loss of passion. <laughs> I don't think you were too happy about it. It's got you all jacked up. There's three queens here. It's kind of funny when you get back up after you've been knocked down and all of a sudden everything's back on the ground again. You're ready to move forward and all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, I don't know if I'm ready or not. Some of you could have been ready to get married. Or be with the person that you want to marry or want to have children with. Or maybe you've moved on and had a family with this person. But all of a sudden, they come back. Hmm. All right. Why is the Page of Wands here for this week? There's our little lizard friend in the middle of the path. The cat's screaming at the little Page of Wands. You coming? And the page is like, I don't know. There's a lizard. I don't like that lizard. Nine of Wands. You're not going to give this one last go. You've moved on. Chariot. I think you've moved on and you're going to keep moving on. you regaining control of the chariot. Why is the four swords here? Seven of Pentacles reversed. Laying it to rest, you lost patience with it. Maybe they took way too long coming back. Obviously, if some of you have moved on. Ten of Wands, releasing. Releasing the burden, letting it go, resting after the broken heart, saying, you know what, this tree isn't going to fruit anyway, let's just cut it down. <sighs> Ten of swords, letting the cycle complete, letting the sun shine again. Let's get your advice, air signs. I like it, I mean, it's not terrible. Ace of Wands upright, Empress upright. Yup.
You're going down the path you're supposed to go down. I don't think you should let this hold your path up. There's an empress here and an empress here. Make the decision, go down the path. It's gonna fruit. Page of Pentacles upright, double reversed. Disconnecting, disconnect. Slow and steady wins the race and you need to remember this isn't a race. Don't let them come back and knock your tower down again. Stop your progress. Apparently, they were a little bit late coming back to pick the pieces up. Because you got right back up. You may not have healed. It may have been a premature get back up, but you still got, got, you still got back up. Slow and steady wins the race. You got back up, you got your crap together. And that's awesome. Keep it together. I love you guys. I apologize for the delay again. Um, hopefully these messages get to you and get to you well. Hopefully they are received and appreciated. Oh, all right. I have to go get ready for work at the bread and butter job. Hopefully the work week top and bottom will not be delayed. Um, I'll have the house to myself tomorrow. Not much to do except read cards and pay bills and clean. But Hopefully I can get some readings done and knocked out tomorrow. I have a few personals in the pipe that I really need to get done, so let's see how I'm feeling, see what the weather's doing. Oh, all right, thanks for coming by. Don't forget, if you feel so compelled, I'm not gonna twist anybody's arm, hit the like button if you want. Again, it's not my journey. Subscribe if you want more. Hit the notification bell if you really want more. And if you think you got a friend that might need the message, share it. Why not? Love you. Be blessed. Catch you next time.